Can you imagine a world without cavities or periodontal disease? How about the ability to regrow a tooth or reverse bone loss? These and other significant health breakthroughs aren't just a pipe dream. They're within our grasp. Delta Dental funds research that is making significant advances in improving oral and overall body health. Leading the way in this scientific research is Delta Dental's Dr. Max Anderson. Hi, I'm Dr. Max Anderson, and I'm sorry I can't be with you today. I'd like to talk to you about the connection between the oral cavity and the body, and the work that's being funded by Delta Dental to advantage our new knowledge in this area. Our original uh, research into to a very interesting area of, of uh, dentistry was looking at cavities and, and what we could do to provide a simple and easy solution to um, the infection that causes cavities. We had some contacts in China and we went to China uh, to find out what traditional Chinese medicine had actually done for treating cavities. Uh, when we got to China, we went to traditional Chinese medicine universities and found that there were about 400 herbs that had been prescribed quite regularly for dental needs. And so we bought all 400 and brought them back to this country and tested them against the organisms that cause cavities. We found uh, several that were quite good at killing just the organisms that cause cavities. And one of the interesting, uh, or one of the interesting groups of uh, plants was the licorice root plant. Uh, we developed that uh, and put it in a delivery system that serves a whole series of people in our population. We put it in a lollipop. The lollipop turns out to be a great delivery device. It's socially acceptable for seniors. It works very well in uh, disabled populations. And so we crafted it in a lollipop uh, that you take twice a day, once in the morning and once at night, and it eradicates the organisms that cause cavities. As part of that work, uh, we got interested in a series of specific molecules that attack just the organisms that cause cavities. And I'll give you the fancy name for this, but they are specifically targeted antimicrobial peptides. And stamps actually go after just the organisms that are targeted. What's, what's interesting about this is we have, in fact, developed those to the point that they're now in human trials. And again, all of this done with Delta's backing. As it turns out, cavities are not the only things that, it, that these kinds of molecules are useful for. All of the major diseases uh, that are caused by bacteria and fungi are susceptible to specifically targeted peptides like the stamps that we've developed for cavities. So as it turns out, this whole thing of going after just cavities uh, has turned out to be a great thing for medicine. As part of our work, we also looked at bone and how bone in the oral cavity is generated, and we're interested in that from the perspective of periodontal diseases. What animal in North America grows more bone than any animal you can think of? Elk. They grow a couple of kilograms of bone every year, uh, and then they shed those, and then they grow another kilo couple of kilograms the next year, only slightly bigger. Uh, and there's a very well-characterized protein that does that in elk. There's a very similar protein in humans. And we took that protein and looked at it to say, what is the smallest functional unit within that protein that actually develops bone? And with this, we can grow bone virtually any place that there's already calcified tissue. So we can, we can have the body actually use its own bone-forming mechanisms by sending this signal to grow bone back into places where it has been lost. One of the other major areas that Delta um, is working in is the use of data, and primarily claims data, to look at the outcomes of specific procedures when specific conditions present in dentistry. When you have the millions of patients that are involved in healthcare, as in the Delta system, uh, you can see very interesting outcomes relatively early on in the process. So armed with these kinds of data, we're uh, moving into uh, opportunities to redesign dental programs um, to advantage this new knowledge and bring better healthcare outcomes and cost outcomes to groups. For scientists such as myself, it's really an interesting opportunity to leverage the assets of Delta Dental to 
bring current science and current data to bear on the two diseases that uh, dentistry is involved with primarily, both cavities and periodontal diseases. Um, while there are other diseases in dentistry, um, this is where the majority of the spending occurs and to leverage these kinds of data with Delta to affect better healthcare outcomes, it's a really interesting opportunity. Um, I look forward to being with the team the next time we get an opportunity to talk, and I'm sorry I couldn't be with you today in person. Thanks.